Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ash and Leather and I've got a really good one to show you today. We've got a brand new wallet style that we're gonna show you first and I've got some special surprises later in the video. Let me introduce you to the new wallet. This is what we're calling Joe Batters and this used to be called the Capone Fox because it is a combination of our Capone money clip with an integrated bill slot in the similar way to the Johnny the Fox. We have seven different colors that we're gonna be offering as a pre-order today. We're gonna to leave the pre-orders open for one week and each of these are going to be limited in quantities. We have a couple different non-shell Cordovan items as well as some shell Cordovan pieces. Before we get to the colors and leathers, let me show you how Joe Batters loads up. I've got one here that has not been finished. This is made in English Tan Dublin. You can see on Joe Batters, we've got two exterior card slots in the same way that the Capone Money Clip has exterior quick access card slots. We also have these here. Now, a word of caution, I've loaded this one up with everything that I normally put inside of my Fat Herbie. I think this is a little too much for the Joe Batters. I think this is probably more appropriate to use about two cards in each slot. And the reason I say that is it becomes a little bit more challenging to get cash inside and out of when you have 16 cards. The reason that I'm suggesting to slim down on your card carry for Joe Batters here is because it becomes a little bit more cumbersome to get cash inside and out of the bill slot. As the wallet gets loaded up with more cards, it becomes a little tighter in this section right here. So you can see there's not much room to move it apart. So getting cash out of and putting it back inside of most significantly becomes a little bit more challenging when you have more substance to firm up the leather. As I've been more testing this for the last few days, I've been really enjoying the quick access card holders on the outside, as well as keeping some of my lesser used cards on the inside. So I've got like my grocery store card on the left here that I don't use very frequently. Let me show you how this unique bill slot opens and closes. You can see we've stitched it up to the top on the left side here. And on the right side here, you can see we've left this a little bit more open. You can see how rich I am also <laughs> with these couple bills here. And by opening the right side, of the bill slot, you can really open it all the way, which allows you to more easily put cash inside. So let me show you how the bill slot loads up. We just open it up with our thumb and sort of slide the cash back down into this place. Now this is very tight in terms of distance of the bill slot. The way that we've designed it is to just perfectly fit a bill inside of the stitching. So you can see there's not a lot of extra room, which again is why I suggest a little bit more of a minimalist carry for the new Joe Batters. All right, let's get into some of the leathers and colors that you'll be able to pre-order starting right now. And you can find all of these on the private stock page of our website, ashlandleather.com. Here's a very beautiful piece of leather. I love this color. Really tough to get gray leathers in the world. This is a leather from Horween called Slate Vintage. It's vegetable tanned. In fact, it's tanned the same way that the Horween Essex and Dublin leather is tanned, except it has a little bit of a white wax on it. So we're able to achieve a little bit more of a gray color. Very, very special. You also notice in the center here, we flipped it backwards. On the shell version, we have the shells showing here. So you get a consistent look on the inside and out. And by flipping this backwards, it will give you a clean, consistent look for years and years to come, whereas the grain side might start to delaminate just a slight bit. Up next, we've got a color number eight Dublin. This is the color eight shell Cordovan color translated over to the Horween vegetable tanned steer hide leather. So you don't get that super tight, dense fiber layer of the shell, but we do get this really beautiful dark brown and burgundy shade. It's sort of like an ox blood color that is very dynamic. On the surface of the Dublin, it's finished with a hard wax layer. So the color is much darker up top, but as you flex it, let me try to demonstrate that for you. You can see some of these more like burnt cherry, like more burgundy colors coming out of the undertones of the leather. That is very, very nice. And on the inside of this Joe Batters, you can see we flipped this piece of Dublin backwards to reveal a little bit more of that suede side. And it is not actually suede. We actually fill in all those fibers with a little bit of a resin coat, which I think cleans it up and gives it a more consistent look. Now let's get into the shell cordovan. You'll see the main difference here. We've got shell on the outside and shell on the inside. We're not flipping this piece backwards. That's the only change of the two designs. And this is a really nice piece of raw natural shell cordovan. I highly recommend the raw natural shell cordovan to everybody that's looking for a dramatic patina. This starts off a much lighter color than the normal natural shell cordovan, and it also is much more of like a matte sheen. So let me try to compare the difference between this raw natural and the black shell cordovan here. You can sort of immediately see the mirror-like shine on the black shell cordovan here. That's because this has been glazed and polished in by the tannery, whereas on the raw natural, they've left it alone. So it's got a little bit more of a subtle sheen to it, but it's not as bright and shiny just yet. But as you wear the raw natural shell cordovan, it becomes more bright and shiny just from normal use. You'll also notice the color deepens and darkens. And I really feel like the raw natural shell cordovan gives you the most potential to develop a dramatic patina and you can impart your own style right into this leather.
Here's the one that I actually really like the look of. This black shell cordovan is really nice on the Joe Batters here. I almost wanted to call it a Capone Fox. We've been calling this one the Capone Fox for years, but we never really released this product. Pretty fun to actually put a real name to it instead of combining two other wallet names together, Capone Fox. I think Joe Batters is a good name for this. We had some other customers that came up with some good product names for gangsters, but I don't think they were actually real gangsters. Like Rocco the Razor was a suggestion. It actually seemed like we might be running out of uh, cool gangster names. Up next, Next here is another shell cordovan piece. This time it is intense blue shell cordovan. You might be familiar with the denim blue shell cordovan that we normally do. The intense blue is much darker. It's more like a navy shade, but you can see, especially as I tilt it at certain angles, more of those blue tones come out. Definitely a deeper, darker blue than the denim shell cordovan. We also have a hand stained blue edge on this one as well as the black we just looked at. Up next is color number eight shell cordovan. So let's compare this to the color eight Dublin. Pretty similar concept. Again, they were trying to translate the color eight shell cordovan here onto a steer hide leather. That's how the Dublin color eight came about. Really clean look with this as we also have hand stained edges on all the edges of this Joe Batters. Up next is a shell cordovan fan favorite color. This is Cigar Shell Cordovan. It has less red to it than the color number eight Shell Cordovan. You can see some of these like a little bit more of like an orangey tanness on some sections. It's got a really nice color depth, but definitely much less burgundy and much less red than the color eight. We also have hand stained matching cigar edges on this. And the stains that we're using on the edges of all of our hand stained wallets are the same exact dyes that Horween is using on the shell. So we get a really clean and consistent look. And last but not least, this is another fan favorite shell cordovan color. This is whiskey shell cordovan. And you might think that whiskey shell cordovan looks a little bit like natural, and it kind of does, but whiskey shell cordovan is slightly darker and slightly more golden when you compare it to natural shell cordovan. And the natural shell cordovan is a little bit lighter and more of like a taupe color, where the whiskey has like a little bit more vivid sort of golden shades to it. And unlike on most of the other cordovan wallets we just looked at, this one has a natural waxed and burnished edge with no stains applied. So again, if you're interested in picking up one of our brand new Joe Batters, we're gonna pre-order these and they should be available in about seven to nine weeks. We're gonna leave the pre-order window open for one week. These are gonna be limited in quantities. Most of them are gonna be, we're only gonna make five of each color and we'll leave the pre-orders open for one week and then ship six to eight weeks later than that. I mentioned a surprise because I snuck up some irregular wallets up on the website. So we have a couple of these natural shell cordovan bugs moran as well as some other items that we're going to look at here very briefly. Natural shell cordovan bugs moran. There's some small inconsistencies on all the irregular items. A lot of people have a hard time seeing them. So there might be like a little scuff, a little scratch. Maybe the color's a little bit darker, a little bit lighter. So for example, on this bugs moran, we noticed an irregular for this reason. The card holder on the right is a little bit more orange and vibrant than the one on the left that is a little bit more yellow. But other than that, that's a perfect bugs moran in English Chan Dublin. I've got a color eight shell cordovan Capone money clip. And now here's a good chance for me to show you the difference between the new Joe Batters and the Capone. You'll see it's the same exact thing on the outside, but Joe Batters just has that bill slot on the interior where the Capone money clip has this hardware. So a lot of people just wanted a full leather wallet, which is why we started doing the Joe Batters. All right, Capone money clip, color eight shell cordovan, some small inconsistencies there. Here's a fun one. This is actually a private stock irregular in inverted blue shell cordovan. You can see the gold foil stamp on the right. And let's get into some Johnny the Foxes. Here's one in 100% black. Black shell cordovan. It's kind of a shame that we had to regular this one, it's just not up to our normal standards. We also have a really fun one here black and teal Johnny the Fox. We have the black Dublin on the outside with the teal horsehide latigo on the inside. Here's the more consistent version of that black Dublin on the outside with black latigo on the inside. And the last Johnny the Fox is really, really nice. Natural shell cordovan here. Really beautiful piece of natural shell with a reverse interior. I noticed one of the card slots on the right here was just like a little too stretchy. So we had to discount it for that reason. We also have a couple fat Herbies. Here's one in color number eight shell cordovan with the hand stained edges and then the color eight shell cordovan on the inside. Here is one in English tan Dublin. You can sort of see the open cut immediately there on the outside right. The inside's pretty clean looking, however. And the next one is the brand new leather Cypress in the brown color. Really nice piece here. There was like a little tiny kind of scratch looking thing on the inside that I had a hard time removing. And then two more wallets. We have a Tony the Ant also in color number eight shell cordovan with those hand stained edges, color eight shell on the inside. And then the last wallet is a Frank the Enforcer 
few things in color HL Cordovan. And by the way, you can find all the irregulars on the sale page of our website. Again, ashlandleather.com. All of the new wallets, uh, the Joe Batters, will be on the private stock page. The last item is a huge piece of Chrome Excel. This is natural Chrome Excel on our XL Valet tray. You can see why we've discounted this one. There's some open cuts, like little bits of scratches on the bottom of the Valet tray here, which are not up to our normal standards. Honestly, you're probably not gonna see that as it sits on your table like this. You're not really gonna see any of those affected areas on the bottom of the tray. All right, let me know what you think of the new Joe Batters. If you wanna pick one of these up, they're on the private stock page right now. Thanks so much for checking out the new wallet design with me. I hope you guys have a great weekend and take care.